For over 100 people touching down in Germany from Sudan on Monday, a frightening ordeal is now over. This flight is just one in a scramble by countries across the world to get thousands of citizens out of the Sudanese capital Khartoum. An apparent lull in fighting between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces has created a window for evacuations. But millions of Sudanese remain stuck in a city that's been transformed into a war zone. They've been left without access to basic services and trapped in their homes amid violence that has killed hundreds of people. Despite sustained pressure from the international community, the two sides have failed to abide by a temporary truce. But the situation was calm enough over the weekend for the United States to extract embassy staff. That triggered a rush of evacuations by other countries. On Monday, France and Germany said they'd got 700 people out. Other countries saying they'd remove nationals include China, Italy, Spain and Lebanon. Bassam Kasia touched down in Jordan in the early hours of Monday. The idea of leaving your house and reaching the assembly point was really risky because the roads weren't safe. After we passed all the points leaving Khartoum, areas became less dangerous. Indonesia reported that 500 of its citizens had been evacuated to Port Sudan on the Red Sea. There, they were awaiting transport to Saudi Arabia. A diplomatic source said a convoy carrying some 700 United Nations, NGO and embassy staff had also driven to Port Sudan on Sunday. Hailing the success of evacuations, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said work also needs to continue towards a political end to the violence. We cannot afford that Sudan, which is a very populated country, uh, implodes because it will be sending shockwaves around the whole Africa. Sudan has now been plunged into a humanitarian crisis. Most hospitals are closed and water and electricity supplies for millions of people are curtailed. Fighter jets have bombed the capital and the main airport has become a centre of fighting, while artillery barrages have made movement unsafe in and out of one of Africa's largest cities.